Oop. This is Kickstarter Channel Network doing a video. I will be, I will say that I'm doing a bond giveaway. Just comment the word that's in the video and uh, give it a like, subscribe, and you will enter for the bond giveaway. I am doing skills, member skills. That's why I'm giving away the bond. You can get the bond and you can try these skills for you can level up quicker. Right now, I don't know if you guys have heard of the sand crabs. It's a good way to level up because they have high health but low defense. So you can kill them quick and level up fast. Uh, probably looking around like at 35,000 XP per hour, somewhere around that. It depends on your efficiency. <clears throat> Hey, they're pretty much these rocks and you just walk up to them and they'll attack you. you as you can see like you can't attack them first you just have to come up I will say it's right here I don't know if you guys no kingdom of great Karan. pretty much from uh, the port Saram it's a it's a quest and then you can just get a boat from over here for free just run down and then right there or you can just teleport to the to the wood cutting guild and then just kind of run to the island over here but this is a good a great way to level up your attack defense or strength or uh, range or magic pretty much attack you just attack them like I said they're really easy they have high health and low defense so you can just keep hitting them big numbers and get greater XP so that's for this and here's the next skill will be Thieving. Guys, this is for thieving. We'll show you it's right here at this marketplace. Right here. Pretty much by the sand crabs. If that's earlier. But now it's right here in this little market. As you can see the bank is right here. And then you just come over to this booth. You do just have to be careful with the dogs. And then like you see, you can just take, see they can attack you, and if you kill them, well, they're just going to respawn. What I do is just run around like this, and they'll end up on the other side. And then you can just sit here and steal. Just, you can... Fill up your inventory and bank it to sell it, you know, free XP pretty much. I mean, the bank isn't that far. You can just click on it from right here. Or you could just drop it. It's really up your choice. And then like for like, if you're on mobile, so it's not so hard like to drop every single one. What I do, in case you want to drop it, go here, I tell you, and then push right there. Tap to drop, just get that one off, and then it'll turn red. So then you pretty much you just have to click on it, and you can drop them quicker. That's if you want to drop them. And if you don't, if you want to bank them, then you can easily just run to the bank. Just let me level up real quick. Since I'm already here. Okay. Yeah. And then you can just literally just run to the bank. 
It's pretty simple. It's really up your choice. I already have like all the stuff that I've picked. But like, let me show you what they're worth. Like the banana, each 180. Apple, 177. Lime, 123. Green lime, 96. Strawberry. Haven't really gotten any. 418. Any good ones. Like this one. Right here. They're worth like 600. But it's really your choice. If you want the extra GP. But yeah. Then you just run back and keep picking and picking. And you can level up your thieving. Next one will be Slayer. Guys, this is for Slayer leveling up. If you guys don't know what it is, it's pretty much someone, uh, a master assigns you monsters for you to kill a certain number, depending on your level. And after you kill them, you get points and you can reclaim them for rewards. And uh, you get more XP killing the monster that you were assigned and you get better drops killing the monsters that you were assigned but me starting out i came to him torrell torrell to this monster he gives them kind of easy for you to start right here from just fatador run up to the gates and go up and then after i did his for a bit I came to this Slayer Master, the one down here in the tunnel, in the dungeon, I mean, open trap door, and then you can see the path right there, you just have to go straight up, straight up, and he's right there, it's the little yellow skull. And then for the other one, the one that I'm doing right now, which I recommend if you could uh, to do with them after a certain level because their monsters are harder. I'll just show you on the map. It's right here. You have to run up. But pretty much the thing with this one is they give you the monsters that they assign you drop brimstone keys, which open a chest. Which can give you like five rain RCs when they're like 60k each, or they can just flat out give you like 300,000 coins, or you know, like it's you, it's like a bonus drop if you say, like, you get a key, then you can just wait right beside her behind her. There's a chest, and you use the key for the chest, and you get you can get some pretty good drops. And that's for this layer, kind of my guide is pretty much showing you it's just killing monsters that they assigned. And you get like XP for everyone you kill, so you level up and so forth and so forth. Okay, now this is for agility. Where I started was right here at the Genome Stronghold. Right here, at the Geno Stronghold. Let me zoom out so you can kind of see where it's at. Yes. Um, I started my agility training here. Until... You just have to like Usually when I do it I don't wear any armor or anything Because you have to try and be the lightest As you can As to not fall From the course And you will hurt yourself So kind of just make sure That you have the health In case you take a fall but Yeah I start in here 
And then I want to drain our village. And I did this course for a while. And then one thing I will tell you guys, that doing these, you will see like signs on the roof with like the symbol of agility. And it's good to pick those up because you can reclaim those for out for lightweight armor. Not armor, but like outfits that will kind of boost when you do agility. And like I know some people, they do like fletching while doing agility, kind of working two skills at once. But yeah, and then you pretty much just keep going around and around for you to get it. The other one, the other one I did was the, the Varrock one. I would show you guys, but I feel like this video will make it too long. So I'll just tell you, it's pretty much what you know when you go to the prison, when you like, when they arrest you or whatever, and you end up in these little cages. It's right there beside that building by the trees. You'll see little rocks so you can climb on top of the roof. And yeah. Okay guys, this will be my last one because I don't want to make the video too long. But this will be a, a altar thing. As you can see, I get 250 tune prayer points per bone. I'm doing dragon bones. Um, think I've done a video on killing dragon bones. But if not, like just buy them at the GE. But you can level up so quick, 252 when free to play, it's just 5 per bone, or 10, 15, you know, not that much. So then right here, and then I don't know if you guys already know how to get to people's house, but you just like that. You're out the altar, you run out, you use the notes on this guy, and then he'll... Put exchange all and he'll fill your inventory with your notes and you can go back like here view house and pick any house and then just go view last home and then I'll take you to the same one then what I do is I use on altar and then I'll just do it by itself all the bones and you can just kind of have some AFK time and you do need some money for you can pay for the exchange from the notes to the items. But it is a good way to level up prayer fast. And there are some people here that they'll do, they'll run bones for you. Like, for you can just trade them here and maybe you give them one free bone. And that's it. As you can see, I just leveled up my prayer. Cause it's so fast. Cause you're getting 252 XP per bone. But yeah, this is the last video. I hope you uh, comment that word that I put in the video. Give this a like, subscribe, and you will enter for the bond giveaway. I will put the winner, uh, the winner on my story, on my YouTube story. And I will also uh, comment comment on the person who wins it. But really, guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. Try and help me out. Give it a like, subscribe, please. And right, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.